What is going on guys? I feel like it's been a super long time since I've just sat down and made um, kind of pretty much my like go-to video or go-to style of video. Um, just kind of talking to you with some workout footage with a bunch of topics to talk about. Especially today I got a bunch of things that I kind of want to update you guys on. Just basically show you what I've been doing, tell you about why I've kind of been um, MIA on YouTube and just kind of give you um, some insight on what you can look forward to to my channel. Um, and also before we get started, I just want to say thank you all to you guys um, because you all helped me get to a thousand subscribers and I think this is the first time, yeah, this is definitely the first time I've mentioned that and um, have not thanked you guys yet in a video. So thank you for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, um, I appreciate you kind of taking along and if you've been along um, for the whole journey, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Um, it's crazy that I've kind of built this from the ground up. Um, I know I've had a lot of people come over from my Instagram because I had that a lot of, um, a lot um, sooner than I did my YouTube. But it's just awesome to see finally get to 1,000. So thank you guys once again. Basically this video, I'm going to start it in a second. I'm going to talk to you guys about my pull workout. I'm going to show you guys quick clips. It's about two minutes um, worth of clips um, from actually my Insta story. So if you're not following my Instagram, go follow me, Anklum Athletics. I've been posting my Instagram stories of my workouts and this is kind of something I think a lot of people are liking and um, I'm gonna start posting them on here as well and talking about them a little bit more in depth on here so I was just in vacation in Turks and Caicos which is um, in the Caribbean islands so it's just underneath the Bahamas um, so I was there for about a week and when I was there um, I lifted and the gym that they had was pretty nice I'll probably show you guys some footage um, either in this video or um, in the next video but it was a pretty nice gym. They had everything you kind of needed. Obviously, they didn't have like a barbell or squat rack or anything like that. But they had machines. They had a cable, um, dual cable, um, dumbbells up to 35 pounds. So I made it work. Um, but the thing was, when I got back from vacation, I weighed about 148 pounds. So if you follow my channel, last year during the peak of my bulk, I was at about 164 pounds. Um, that's when I hit a 405 squat, a 250 bench. And uh, surprisingly, I've actually hit my strongest deadlift about um, a month or so ago at only 150. 53 pounds so 10 pounds lighter but I'm safe to say that I could pull um, a really good amount of weight uh, probably a little bit stronger um, definitely with that 10 pounds back on so being from 164 which is the heaviest I've ever been and being all the way back down to 148 when I got home from vacation was kind of eye-opening for me so I was kind of a little bit scared um, and kind of shocked about that I was definitely thinking I was gonna be down but I wasn't exactly sure how far I was gonna be down if you went to my Instagram, you see that I posted a picture of myself. My obliques were popping. I got veins coming out. So now that I'm kind of back home, I've been home for two days now or three days maybe. Um, and I'm back up to last night when I weighed myself before bed, I was 152 pounds. So back up to where I thought I would be. And I thought that that would happen just being back on my normal macros and getting in a good amount of calories again. But um, I don't want to increase those calories too soon and I don't want to put on any extra fat So I'm being smart about it and being um, reasonable with the amount of calories I'm adding back in but um, I'm seeing some good results and I'm putting on um, some weight again. So that is a good thing um, Another benefit of that was like I said I was looking real lean so in some half natty lighting and um, With a pump I was feeling really vascular as you'll see in the video I'm looking really pretty lean still and with the carbs in my system again I'm definitely feeling a little bit more full so that combination is definitely making for some good videos and some good pictures That's for sure um, but I'll show you guys some of the video um, from my workout, like I said, I did some pull a pull workout. I'll briefly kind of go over that workout a little bit. Um, I started out with just a pull up, so I did um, two different hand grips. I was doing the close grip, neutral grip, um, and then I was also doing a pronated um, wide grip pull up. So I did 50 reps total, and um, I did as little sets as possible. So I believe I did it in four sets, um, and you, you don't need to do it in that many sets. Take as many sets as you need to, um, and just kind of go from there. I'm gonna really work on not saying um, and I know I said it a bunch already, but I'm just gonna work my best at it. I gotta get used to talking to the camera again. But 50, 50 reps total. Then I moved on to a hammer strength neutral grip row. So we did, uh, it's a plate loaded version. So really focusing on kind of keeping that neutral grip obviously. So I'm working on pulling my elbow down and back. I'm really focusing on pulling down as well as back. I'm not just driving straight back because that's really gonna help you engage that lat. Um, a little bit more especially when you're trying to target the lats themselves So if you're not trying to go for that upper or that uh, middle back really drive that elbow down in most of your rowing exercises You'll feel that engagement um, deep into the tie into the lat which you'll definitely find helpful um, After that we did an underhand grip lat pull down 
These last two exercises are gonna be four to five sets of 10 to 15 reps, so pretty wide range um, of a rep range there. So just kind of do your best increasing the weight as you um, can. Um, probably the last two or three sets, I would kind of find a good weight and kind of keep it there. But if I felt like I needed to go up or down, don't hesitate to. So after that, we did cable pull through. So that's with the rope, really focusing on driving those elbows back um, and then just really keeping the tension on there. I'm not using a crazy amount of weight, um, but just really focusing on the squeeze there. Also, I'm going to superset that pull through, those cable pull throughs with a seated cable row. So close grip variety there. These two exercises are going to be three to four sets of 10 to 12, or excuse me, of 10 to 15 reps as well. Um, and then after that, we started to go to biceps. So pull days are going to be back in biceps if you're not familiar with pull days. So we finished up with a little bit of bicep work. So we did a straight bar cable curl. Three sets here of 12 to 15 reps, supersetted with an easy bar bent over row. So at this point in the exercise, or at this point in the workout, your back is pretty full of blood. So using about an 80 pound easy bar curl um, bar, I bent, did a bent over roll with an underhand grip. So I'm really focusing on just engaging those lower lats, driving the bar towards my almost my belly button or a little bit above that. Um, and that's really gonna help you just kind of finish off that back. And I did three sets of 10 to 12, um, or excuse me, 12 to 15 there as well, superset it with a straight bar cable curl. Um, and then just finished off with another superset of biceps only with a rope cable hammer curl, which is actually not in the video, um, but it's just a rope hammer curl. Um, and then I supersetted that with the supinated palm up dumbbell curl. So those are both three sets of 15 to 20 reps, so a little bit higher reps um, to finish off with a little bit lighter weight, just really focusing on the squeeze um, and that sort of thing. So I don't want this video to be too long. I just kind of want to update you guys a little bit. I'm going to be putting out a video from the trip. Going to be kind of like a visual vibe sort of video with a little bit of montage music. Um, just from the beautiful scenic views that we saw in Turks and Caicos. The water and the ocean was just absolutely spectacular. So you guys will see that soon. Um, I got to swim with some sea turtles. Um, got video footage of like dolphins um, and starfish. Um, stingrays just tons of tons of cool stuff and just the, the water and the beauty itself was just amazing so look forward to that um, look forward to more videos I'm gonna be putting out at least one to two videos per week at least um, in 2017 I really want to stick to that and I'm gonna be putting more content on my Instagram a lot more workout videos of just my daily workouts just showing you guys insight into different exercises that I think could benefit you and I think that have been staples for me and my training that I think that you might benefit from um, and consistently um, getting to use those exercises and um, just seeing good results from them so Hopefully you guys can find some interest in um, my content. Obviously I got to a thousand subscribers so I'm doing something right. So I really, really am just appreciative of that guys. So thank you for watching. Thank you for um, the continued support and I really do appreciate it. So hope you guys had a good Christmas. Hope you guys had a happy new year. Start off 2017 right um, and just kind of keep on chugging along. If you guys ever have any questions, feel free to message me um, or shoot me an email at joeganklum at gmail.com. I also do online coaching, um, but feel free to just message me if you have any questions either. So have a great one, guys. Thank you for watching and um, hope you guys enjoyed the clips in the background. But peace out and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a great day.